I don't believe in heaven in the winter I don't believe in winter in the fall I beat my temples just to see them splinter I tear the wings of flies just to see them crawling down Down through the gravel and the mud where a rope can nod And a soap can sustain Peter's on a smoke break The devil's wrist in silk And you always eat the mother after drinking her milk I don't believe my eyes are ever dotted I don't believe my T's are ever cross I stick it in because I see it slotted I kick it in the ribs to have it turning and tossing down Down through the weeds and the rain where a man can lie And a woman can faint Saint Peter's on a smoking break The devil's rest in silk and you always eat the mother after drinking her milk Deliver me Doctor, deliver me Doctor, deliver me From this world I don't believe in happily or in after I don't believe in dreams I can't recall I never got invited to the rafters I never got why sinners never see themselves falling down Down through the fire and the smoke where a leg can't sit And an egg can yoke St. Peter's on a smoke break The devil's rest in silk and you always eat the mother after drinking her milk Deliver me Doctor, deliver me Doctor, deliver me From this world Deliver that wants to step away from right. the original format of rock and roll and pop music? I mean, I don't care about rock and roll and pop music. I care about sounds. I don't see I don't see walls or barriers between different styles of music. If I want to play an electric guitar, I'll play an electric guitar. Hmm. Um, and I think that, you know, the format, like two guitars, bass, drums, rock and roll band, it, it, it's just not interesting to me. It's been done, and it's been done by better guitar players than me. Um, so what I tend to be interested in when I'm arranging my songs is thinking about other voices that, that can pull the ear and can bring the mind into a slightly different place. So would a song that I've written work with, you know, guitar mini and double guitars? Maybe. Hmm? But I'm much more interested in a clarinet and a violin playing together. To me, that evokes something that's a little bit more interesting from where I'm coming from and from what I want to say. Well, the balance between my voice and the drum is coming through the same line. Okay. So, so I'll have to do that on my end. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you an easy writer? No, I find writing to be very painful and difficult. But it, it's, I set a standard that is impossibly high. Um, you know, to me, why should a song exist? There's already so many songs. So if I'm going to add a song, there has to be something that it's contributing. Yeah. So it's not a matter of the craft of completing the song. The problem is the art of having something worthwhile to say. You know, finding a way to articulate in an original, interesting, and not cliche way an observation or an experience that is interesting or profound or meaningful is hard. And Spotify has 100,000 hours of music being uploaded every week. So if I'm going to say something, if I'm going to stain the silence with a, with a bell that cannot be unrung, hmm. then, then what should I say? We're still rolling. We're still rolling back. Okay. Hey, one, two. 
All right. All right, well, this, this next song here is um, the song that I wrote for a, a theater project that I made a few years ago called Old Stock, a refugee love story. And it, the play tells the story of these two Jewish Romanian refugees who flee to Canada in 1908. They're fleeing the violent pogroms. And, you know, when I, when I wrote this, this song, I was thinking about, you know, we, we so often tend to have conversations about migration and refugees and economic migrants or whatever terms we choose to use and we talk about how people are coming to our countries as if our countries are so great you know that people are just dying to be here and what people forget about is that the push factor is usually so much bigger than any possible pull factor people don't realize what a terrible sacrifice it is to leave the land that your own great-grandparents may have lived on, the place where you speak the language, the place where you have social connections and social capital, all of these kinds of things. And really, in most cases, the first-generation immigrants have a more difficult time than the place that they left. And it's usually the case that people are making these choices not on their own behalf, but very often it's for the next generation sacrifice in many, many, many cases, and I think that no matter what your political beliefs, where you come from, your language, your country of origin, something that we almost all have in common is the willingness to make profound sacrifices on behalf of our children. That's all this little lullaby is all about.
Old stock is about the Jewish uh, diaspora of the years. Uh, there's a lot of understanding, but over the past 10 years, there's also a lot of extremist reactions to it. Are, are you asking me about like anti-Semitic responses? Are you asking yes. about, yeah. um, how can I answer that question? I think that, um, you know, anti-Semites are going to anti-Semite. Uh, they're, they're out there and... and um, I'll say that my experience of touring with this show has not been particularly colored by those kinds of things. Mm. I think I've, I've had nothing but, I shouldn't say nothing but, but almost exclusively, um, you know, people responding with, with um, interest and curiosity. And, you know, a lot of people think that the, the only nasty thing that happened to the Jews in Europe was the Holocaust. And they don't know that for 60 years beforehand, there was already people being oh, pulled into the streets mm. and, and had their heads smashed in. Mm. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's not... An, and before that, of course, the Catholic Church was complicit in all kinds of terrible, disgusting things. And the reform uh, movement in Martin Luther... Uh, Martin Luther had a book or a, an essay called On the Jews and Their Lies. Um, and so this idea that um, any of this is new. But really, I mean, I think this is a European problem because, you know, two-thirds of all of the Jews in Europe were wiped out. Two thirds of the Jews in Europe are dead, and so there's not so much of a Jewish problem anymore because there's no longer a salient cultural feeling of having Jews in the cities anymore because they're fucking dead, and the secular Jews and the Jews who were interested in art and culture and making theater and the richness of the theater tradition and all of these people who are not necessarily interested in the religious side of their identity, those voices are gone and they're silent and they're no longer a part of the European context. And Europe now has to deal with what it means to have Muslims in this place and what it means to have people who don't look like you. I mean, the, the Jews were asked to make a, a sacrifice and they said, if you can stop looking outwardly like a Jew, then we'll stop treating you anti-Semitically. And now the Europeans are saying the same thing to the Muslims. They're saying, if only you don't look like a Muslim, then we can treat you with human dignity. the other mic. Of course. I was, I was and that's, and that's why I set mic. separate channels. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I was confusing. Um, I think that I there is, mm -hmm. in the process of being forced to leave behind the world that you know and being forced to try to make a new identity in a place that may or may not be interested in including your identity and what it means to be of that place, I think that struggle of identity and overlapping uh, circles of identity is something that, that we all have to deal with to different degrees in our lives. And so I think it's not for me ab about whether you can connect with the specific story that's being told, but how I as a storyteller can write a story that invites the audience in and allows them to feel for themselves at least uh, a sliver of, what, of what's really going on. This song is um, it's one that I, I started writing during the pandemic. I was doing a, a writing exercise around the word lost, and I was thinking about uh, painful things. I was thinking about the pandemic and the gigs I'd lost and the beautiful cultural things that had gone away and all these other things. And as I was working on the tune, it began to feel somehow insincere because as I was focused on this concept of lost, I began to notice the things that I'd found. And the, the song took a change in direction as I, as I finished writing it. When the rains 
stopped falling And the rivers ran dry The world just kept spinning round And the nights dragged on As the months flew by I was just drifting down a path pre-existing till I tumbled into your eyes and I'm lost, lost, lost I haven't got Skies cracked open and the rivers broke free. The world just kept spinning round, and I held my breath as you held me. I tried to resist you. time I kissed you, you shook me down out of my tree, and I'm lost, 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 I haven't got even a clue, and I'm lost, 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 I'm so lost in Okay, I'll do, uh, do another one. A tangle of traumas, a rash of regrets, a bundle of burdensome yesterdays. Blessing of sorrows, a crush of tomorrows, a nightmare disturbed by the dawn. A quorum of tragedy, rotten menagerie. Why do you stay with me now? A tide of naivety dragging the feet of me. What love cannot break along? When I was a child, I dreamed of all of the things I'd be yesterday. Now it's all gone wild, and there's a crack in my history. Storm has passed.
storm has passed, the rains receded, flowers grow upon the earth, the time to love is here, I opened up to my beloved, but my love had turned away, I called in Love cannot break a lie. What love cannot break a lie? What love cannot break a lie? Got it. Thank you. We're uh, working inside a vinyl plant. Would you have a look at the uh, records? Yeah, sure. Let's see, this is <laughs> Jeff Buckley, another side of Bob Dylan, Steely Dan. I mean, okay, so I'm not the biggest Steely Dan fan, but I will say that Steely Dan is famous for like making the album in the box, in the studio, and in the machine. The That's right, yeah. And so my second album, Birds with Broken Wings, has something in common with that, where we recorded 33 different musicians. We gathered as many different colors and palettes and textures as we could get, and then we assembled everything meticulously in the studio with edits and tape cuts and all these little things. Um, so I learned I learned some things about, you know, what yeah. art can and can't the be. The reason why we should listen to Steely Dan. That's right. Yeah. But this Neil Young record, Comes a Time, is... One of my favorite records. Um, yeah, just a mega record for me. But before I ever heard this record was Bob Dylan's Greatest Hits. It's not as hipster as I'd like it to be, but I had this as was my like first, first Bob Dylan record. I, I used to collect records when I was like 13, 14 years old. And the, the, this album, the first track on the album is Rainy Day Women, number 12 and 35. Mm. And uh, yeah, it just like blew my mind as to what a recording could be, what what songwriting could be, what music could be. It's Bob Dylan. I mean, how okay. could I go wrong? And Neil Young? Um, yeah. Neil yeah, fellow Canadian. Another Canadian, yeah. Somebody who, uh, just like Leonard Cohen, we've got another Canadian in here. Um, yeah, I mean, it's like, I love, I love songwriters who are writing from... A, a point of of honesty, of authenticity, and and that word can be so abused and thrown around, but um, there's something about about Neil that feels very Canadian to me, unmistakably Canadian mm -hmm. to me, especially in the way that he is somewhat of a of a musical chameleon. I feel like there's somehow among Canadian artists more permission to blend between genres and to not be so um, I don't know refined as to what kind of music they play. I don't want your damn help anyway Take your eyes to the road For it's time now to go There's a world you've left waiting And it ain't your job to take care you know it don't bother me none Sure as each flower blooms Every flower is doomed And will meet in the belly of the worm Through the rain and snow Long have I watched you grow As your shoulders up to the sky Don't despair in it all Though I stumble and fall Always knew Couldn't 
keeper forever and it ain't your job to take care of me and you know that it's better this way we'll go your way and mine for you're still in your prime and I'm just an old fool getting older Pack your bags, fill your boots, don't look bad. Go catch up with your quest, leave me here for to rest. And we'll meet in the belly of the As your shoulders rise up to the sky Don't succumb to despair Fill your lungs with the air And we'll